Hey everybody, Sponge Murphy here. How are you all getting on today? Right, so in today's video, I will be sharing with you guys how I painted up a Skaven Storm Vermin that's quick, easy, and ready for the battlefield. The complete list of what paints and brushes I used are in the video description below, so make sure to check them out as well. First, I primed the model in grey. Now, grey is a good go between a black and white, and that's why I really like to always have a grey undercoat. The primer I used is the MAC Grey Primer from Halfords. So the first colour that I actually applied was Bugman's Glow on the skin. I started with the skin because it's the deepest part of the model. Any other part of the model is on top of that so it's just easier to get this first and to get it done and out of the way. Next is the Storm Vermin's armour. Now I've always been a fan of the red armour on these guys. So I based the armour in Mephiston Raid. It's a strong base colour that spreads really nicely. Now I went a little different with the fur this time. Instead of the usual grey, I went with a lighter brown with Steel Legion drab on the arm, leg and the face fur. I wanted the Storm Vermin to have somewhat of a youthful look to him. And now onto his robes. The base colour for this was Rackhard Flesh. I absolutely love how the red and the cream colour combine together. This makes the model stick out more instead of falling into that dark look of really dark metallic armour and darker robes. And just like the Mephiston Red, Rackard Flesh's coverage is really good, even when it's thinned down. For the metal parts, I went with the tried and tested lid belt. Easy choice to make, it's a paint that always works and does its job. Zanji Dust was then applied to his nails and teeth. For the shaft of his halberd, I chose Mournfang Brown. It's a colour that works really well with an Agrax Earthshade layer all over it, and you'll get to see that later on. The final base colour is then Abaddon Black on any straps like his belt and the straps that holds his armour to his arms and legs. Once the base colours are good and dry, I moved on to shading and first up was Reikland Flesh Shade on the skin. On the face, I usually like to start in with the eye area and then drag the shade out of there and spread it across to get a nice even layer all across the flesh parts. His robes, armour, weapon shaft and fur then had a shade of Agrax or shade, followed by a shade of Null and Oil on the metallic parts. Once the shade had enough time to dry, the first highlight I started with was Cadian Flesh Tone on the most prominent parts of the skin. To highlight the armour, I went with Evil Sun Scarlet. The only parts to highlight on the armour was its edges, especially on his helmet. The same goes for his robes. I highlighted the edges and then some of the most prominent parts on it with Screaming Skull. And of course for the metal, Storm Horse Silver is my go-to metal highlight colour. The last highlight I applied was the fur. I know originally I wanted a youthful colour look on the fur, but I went with a Dawn Sun highlight just to give him a little bit more of a hardened look on him. And that's it for the Storm Vermin model. The base is done with some cork, astro granite, a Mechanica standard grey base colour, an Agrax Earthshade shade, followed by a Dawn Stone dry brush. The highlights really make parts of the model stick out and works well. And although it isn't Golden Demon level, it's an easier way of painting a whole unit of battle ready storm vermin.